Thank you, Santa Barbara, for watching Nonprofit Spotlight. Today we'll be featuring Santa Barbara Birth Center, and we'll be talking with President and Founder Laurel Phillips, as well as Board Member Howard Wachewski. Let's start our spotlight. Well, thank you, Laurel, for being with us today. And I'd like to just start out by having you tell our viewers what exactly the Santa Barbara Birth Center's mission is. Thank you for having <laughs> me today. Um, the mission of the birth center is to provide complete midwifery care and birth services to all women with low-risk pregnancies who would like to give birth in a birth center. So then the, what is a birth center? Right, exactly. So a birth center is a place where families can come for complete prenatal care and to give birth and to have postpartum care that's not associated with the hospital. So it's not going to the hospital and it's not having a home birth, it's something in between. Okay. And how many people, midwives, are at the Santa Barbara Birth Center? We don't have a building yet. We okay. don't exist yet. We are fundraising and looking for a location. And when we open, when we start, there will be three okay. midwives offering care and some birth assistants and, and staff. And um, we'll grow as we grow. Can you explain to our viewers what the uh, benefits of having a baby at a birth center are versus, say, going to a hospital or even having a baby at home? Well, first of all, the birth center really represents choice. So it's not the right choice for everyone. Not everyone will want to birth at a birth center. But for women with a low-risk pregnancy who want the, the continuity of midwifery care and the intimacy of midwifery care, it can be a really good choice because a birth center, because it only cares for low-risk women, um, doesn't have to have the medical environment that a hospital does. So a hospital is prepared for any kind of high-risk situation. So because we are screening all along in our care, we know that when a woman enters readiness to have a baby at the birth center, she's a really good candidate to be there. And so um, it's a home-like environment. She is birthing with midwives that she's gotten to know all through her pregnancy. Her family has been coming. They're welcome. The kids are comfortable. There's a comfortable place for the whole family to be, whether it's in the birth suite or not. There's gathering rooms, library, playroom for the kids, a kitchen to make food, and then a private birth suite, actually three, so that um, up to three women at a time could be giving birth there. I'd like to um, go into how early in the process of being pregnant should a woman think about um, investigating the birth center? We're actually getting a lot of calls already, even though we are not open yet, <laughs> from women who are really interested. So really prenatal care should start as early as possible in pregnancy. And it would be as simple as making a phone call to the birth center and um, scheduling a consult or a free tour of the birth center to get a sense of whether or not it was the right fit. Okay. And then prenatal care would begin and um, there's plenty of time to get to know everyone and feel comfortable there. Well, Laurel, as the founder of the Santa Barbara Birth Center, I'd like to know what inspired you to start this nonprofit and also what community partners are you looking uh, for support from as you move into the future? So I've been working in the birth world as a doula and a student midwife for about 14 years in Santa Barbara. So I've had the opportunity over and over again to hear from hundreds of women regarding their concerns for their birth plans. And so the options now are Cottage Hospital and Home Birth. We used to have two other hospitals, St. Francis Hospital and Goleta Valley, that were known for their slower paced labor and delivery units. Those have both closed. Mm. So there are plenty of women who are comfortable with Cottage and who are also also choosing home birth. There are many in between that just aren't quite finding the right fit for them. So this is an answer to that demand. Okay. We have had tremendous support from our community, both from the people who have um, birthed with us in the past and who are wanting this for themselves and for their children, for their grandchildren. Great. We've also had incredible foundational support. So the, the Fund for Santa Barbara, the Santa Barbara Foundation, the Bauer Foundation, um, a lot of private donors have all stepped forward to really support this project. Well, next up, we'll be talking with Howard, one of your board members. But before that, I want to say thank you for talking with us today. Thank you so much for having me. Well, thank you, Howard, for talking with us today. Oh, it's my pleasure. How did you get involved with the board? 
Well, a lot of people ask me that question. Obviously, given my age and my gender, it's not for me. <laughs> but uh, my wife and I had a phenomenal experience. Uh, our niece uh, had a home birth, and we were privileged enough to be able to be present. And I'll tell you, if you're ever present during that experience, it changes your life. Wow. And so when uh, my wife came to me and said there was a group putting together a nonprofit, uh, I was thrilled to be invited to participate on the board. How inspired you must have been. Oh, it's great. Can you tell me about the board? Sure. The board is based in the community, and we have uh, a doctor, for example, Elliot Schulman, who is the prior director of the Santa Barbara County Health. Oh, we have cool. attorneys, we have accountants, I'm a business person and an attorney. Uh, we have uh, Marty Glenn from the Santa Barbara Graduate Institute. So we wanted to represent all different aspects of the community because we wanted to make sure that this birthing center wasn't just another option the way uh, Laurel explained, but was a resource for the community. We see it as an education and resource for the community. Because as you were saying, if you're having a birth, exactly. you know, what do I do, who do I call? Our vision is that with one phone number, our phone number, or our website, mm -hmm. that people can contact us and get information. Not everybody that contacts us will use the birth birthing center. Cottage is a fabulous you know, alternative for many people. Home birthing still is a great alternative. Sure. But people can get educated. What are my options? How do I get educated? And as a grandparent to be in the future, you know, I remember when my sister was looking at her daughter having a home birth. Well, what does it mean? Right. And how do you get the education? And we want our institute to be that, you know, that uh, source of information. Well, fantastic. I think it's definitely a necessity in our community. Where is the next birth center in this area? Or how far would someone have to travel to, to find Well, it? that's a good question. I think they have to travel pretty far. Mm -hmm. We're getting calls all the time. But we know in this whole Metroplex that's not available, which is surprising for a community of our size. Definitely. Well, what is it that we can ask our viewers who are watching this segment to, to help out with when it comes to supporting the birth center? Well, I'm glad you asked that <laughs> question. <laughs> and how it's it's we all can help uh, by what we do. Uh, first is to get the word out that we're having a birthing center. Again, our vision is to offer this option. Second, we want to make it available to uh, people of all different socioeconomic backgrounds to be able to afford this type of birthing, so we need your financial support. And third, we need to have financial support because we're halfway there just to be able to open the doors. We've got wonderful support, as Laurel said, from foundations and private donors. But by more community support and activities that we're having, we're going to be able to make this accessible to everyone or more people with low risk births and also to have it be more of a resource, not just for the birthing center. How do we get more information on the Santa Barbara Birth Center? Well, that's why we're doing the birth center, because right now there is no place to get good information in general. So uh, we're uh, looking right now at different uh, options to open the center. Uh, if anyone has any information of a great home setting near the hospital uh, so that we have that proximity. Uh, but until that's uh, available and we're fully staffed, we do have a website, which is SB birthcenter.org and we're, we are on Facebook as well so you can get more information and we're doing a lot of community events and uh, hopefully everybody will contact us and if there's any angels out there to support us uh, we are having a wonderful opportunity to give birth to this wonderful idea. Fantastic well thank you so much Howard for, for talking with us and we look forward to hearing about all of the great things that are coming out of the Santa Barbara oh, Birth thank Center. Thank you so much appreciate it. You're watching Nonprofit Spotlight. For more information on the Nonprofit Spotlight, check our website at www.spchannels.tv.